In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove and replace an upstream O2 sensor on a RAV4 located in the exhaust manifold. Remove the heat shield and there is four mounting bolts on this heat shield into the manifold and it is a 12 millimeter socket and we're going to take those right out. Two lower ones. Okay, let's get this back one last. There we go. I'll just grab that shield and lift it up. So the O2 sensor connector is located right here, right beside the right side of that head, the engine. And it's underneath this bracket for that holds the hoses, the heater hoses in the way. Now, this one has been busted, but there's a plastic tab right there. And if you take a small screwdriver and lift up on your plastic tab, once it's pushed up, you should be able to slide it off just like that. Now that exposes that connector easily. Now you can see it. Get the hoses right out of the way there. Now we're going to push down on the tab in the back. That's the locking tab for this. So push down with your thumb. Give it a push. Came out from the clip, but that's fine. A lot of dirt in these through the years, so it could be a little fight. But I got it. Now we're going to undo this hose clamp thing. And uh, to be honest with you, I've never seen one like this. It's a Toyota. There we go. Set that aside. Now the line is free. The Wires are free and we can get right to that O2 sensor in the manifold. So the O2 sensor, like I said, is screwed right into that exhaust manifold. And we're going to use an O2 sensor socket. And that's usually a 22 millimeter wrench or style. But it has to be, to get the best, it's usually an O2 sensor socket. So pull on it counterclockwise. Sometimes you're going to have to take it out, readjust it. time. And there we go. So now we have our new O2 sensor. And before I install it, I'm going to take off the shipping plastic because they cover the threading with like an anti-seize, which is perfect, you want that. So now I can grab it by hand and I'm gonna thread it right in that hole. I'm gonna turn that clockwise. I'm gonna feel it start by hand. I'm just gonna bottom it out. It goes in nice and smooth with that thread, thread sealer on there. There we go, it's bottomed out. Now I'm gonna take my socket Reverse it. Let's snug it up. Once it bottoms out, it has a crush washer. It's like a spark plug in the sense with that crush washer. So we want to feel that completely close. Feel the two stages of it. Once it's completely bottomed out, I'm going to give it a nice snug. Keeps going. And there we go. Doesn't have to be a half inch tight, just tight. Bring that connector under that hose, bring it up, find the harness, line up the actual pins. Like that, and then click when you push it in. There we go. Now we have the undercarriage piece here that clips on that. So line that up, slide it on.
Okay, now we can put this clamp back on. This hose went in it, but I'm going to take the hose, put this bracket back on, line that up, and pop this hose in the bottom one. Make sure that wire is not touching the manifold. Now we're clear to put the shield back on. So prior to putting the shield back on, I'm going to take a little copper anti-seize, and I'm just going to coat my threads to my mining bolts for the shield. So in the future, nobody has any problems with that. If you use a penetrating spray, it actually would just heat up and evaporate. But the copper is the highest temp of anti-seize that you can use. I'll grab the shield, slide it over. Make sure it lines up. And there we go. Take two bolts. I like to start everything by hand. That way I can center all the bolts wiggle the parts I need to wiggle. Let's get the last one. Alright, so now that we hand started all of the shield bolts, go around, I'm going to snug them up. I'm just going to bottom them out by hand. They actually have like a stopper on them, they have a staging on the, on the bolt a shield, I mean a, like a sleeve like. So you have four total bolts. Last one is down here. And that's it. Once they're snug up, you're ready to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.